Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders 3, Burning Dog fans. We're here in the Nether, which is a country in northwestern Europe known for a flat landscape of canals, tulip fields, windmills, and cycling routes. Actually, sorry, I have got confused with the Netherlands, which is something totally different. <laughs> that was a stupid joke, and I'm not sorry. Skidmore and Skidmore. Personal injury attorneys. I feel like, uh... They're not gonna answer the phone. Wait. Oh. I thought it said something else. Boring cars last forever. That's probably a joke about the art design. I can't even tell what junk is, although going from a thing that vague, maybe it's a cologne or something. Perfume. Come on! Ow. Okay, fine. You got one. Oh. For me? You shouldn't have. I'll use one of these instead. WHIP! Sometimes the trash has items in it. This one draws my attention because it flickers. I wonder what kind of significance this had to the humans. Dang it, my timing wasn't... that enough. No, no, don't get over my part. Come on, come on. Ow. Okay, fuck this. Excellent. There was a comment Fury made fairly early on about I should have let war cut my head off right then and there. They did actually fight at least once. And despite the way uh, Fury describes it, she lost. There was a, uh, a comic book prequel to the first Darksiders game. I'm, st I'm stopping here because that's clearly a boss fight arena. Where, uh, one day, War decided that he just didn't want to work for the Charred Council anymore. And as he goes to leave, uh, yeah, as he goes to just up and bail, uh, Fury and Strife both get in his way. And he puts them both down fairly easily, to my surprise. Again, this was like, very early on. I don't think they even really had the characters of the other horsemen really laid out yet. But uh, then Death shows up, and uh, War goes to run him through, and uh, Death becomes completely intangible, allowing the sword to pass through his body, and then he just reaches behind himself and t pulls it out of War's hand. And, uh, just in case stealing the Chaos Eater wasn't insulting enough for, uh, for war, he added injury to it by slapping him on the wrist with his own sword. By which I mean he took Chaos Eater and chopped off war's left arm from the elbow down. Which is why he has a giant, uh, prosthetic on that side. No good can come with this. Fine, let's take a look. Hmm. Sloth, huh? sin of laziness, of refusing to act when it is needed. Apathy is a very powerful uh, vice to indulge in, indeed. This will be fun as oh, wait. Wish. What is this place called? Just the Nether? No. Oh! 
Okay, that's not alarming at all. As you wish. Later. Oh, do make sure they scream, Horseman. is almost adorable. Uh, it's not a bomb? No! You've killed him! You killed Jerry! It didn't start glowing until it ate, so maybe I have to find a pile of guts somewhere. Did I miss that, or can I just not go there? I cannot go there. I've been telling you this for three games now, that you don't need to do the super dramatic entrance every single time. Oh, this, this is the first time we've met chronologically. Shit! On, on that note, I was really hoping that if Fulgrim was in this game, he would have wings. Like, full wings. Because that suggests things. Is that a maker? An angel! Some shit's going on down there. The worst of the smells come from above. Beef! Not really. Let me guess. I have a feeling. Oh. Oh, you are definitely the enhanced version. Black and glowing red eyes. Yeah, let's do something reckless. I think he's dead now. Let's go back and get that bug. Not at all how you pronounce that. <laughs> I wanted to make it clear from some comments I received a while ago. It is not actually pronounced buton in Canada. It's... Oh, I didn't think that one through. My bad. Just respawn over here and I'll fix it. Or in the meantime, I'll just go steal this item. Oh, jeez. Yoink. Go. Okay. Bug energy tears down bug walls. That makes sense. Sloth isn't nearly as big as I thought he was going to be. That doesn't uh, preclude the uh, possibility of a non-combat boss fight. Oh, okay, you're big. You are definitely not Sloth. How is it going? Oh, no! They don't whip those! I guess. No, you can't be those. The recipe I mean to. Organs. Oh, I can't use anything. Oh, good. Right, don't do that. I forgot. My bad. 
fucking... Yes, gorge yourself, tiny one. Rejuvenation Core. This stone automatically increases the amount of health restored by Nephilim's Respite by 75. Oh, good. Do I have to use that, or does it just have that? Because it says automatically, but, you know, I'm just checking. It's not listed here at all. Oh, the bridge stone, an enchanted stone etched with the ancient maker magic. Uh, it allows the instantaneous transportation of any human directly to Haven. Yes. For a time, the maker has established and maintained many bridge stones, making travel between realms and distant lands simple for all. However, as the war raged and uh, things grew dire, they undid their work, rendering the stone useless. Can I get up there? Yes, I want those souls. Oh, for a second there, I thought I was just gonna let me walk through that. Oh, I can't double jump like this, damn it. Use this regular ass healing shard. Try not to think about that. Wait. If I just stand down here, is there a spot I can stand to see the, uh... The one upstairs? I can't tell. I can't tell if that's the actual wall or if that's just a glowy part of the ceiling. No, it's just a glowy part of the ceiling. Okay, fine. We're gonna loop around through that way. Oh, good to know. Oh, I'm here. It's a surprisingly well-rendered blood puddle. Let's try not to think about that. I don't like the way that they're just hovered around this thing. Pretty. In a demented sort of way. Okay. Did 
That doesn't normally happen. I'm just saying. Oh, hey. I need you to be not a bomb. And also over here. Can I just hit B and let go? Sick. smug about that, so I'm very glad they did a little jingle there. Someone's having a party. It sounds like that fight that we saw earlier. <sighs> Music to my ears. Okay, that's you. You cannot ignore what you really are? What the hell does that mean? I thought I was gonna fight Sloth next. You don't get a fucking title. Envy had a title. Did she steal it from you? Are you the personification of resentment? Because I could kind of see it. All right, my turn. Chunk off of him. Okay, that happened. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm dead. Fuck. Well, I got him halfway down. And he'll be better when he's when I'm back, and I won't have havoc form. Piss drink. Hmm. Sorry about that. Man alive. I mean, it's not the worst, but... I feel bad with that, too. There, you're dead. Didn't look back here before. What have you been protecting? More lurchers. And now that I know what you're actually for... Where'd the meat go? Wasn't there meat here? Damn it, how am I gonna open that one? That's no good. across the gap. Fine. I guess I'll just kill those guys and keep going. Oh, 
There it is. I hit all of them, except that one and the one I had been aiming at. That's just embarrassing. Just kill it already! You think she would aim at that one, but I understand if they just want to have fixed animation protocols. Fine, fine. Fuck you, Bench. You weren't even on your right side. Oh, there's the timer. And there's that, but I'll never get that guy back in there before he blows up. Huh. I don't think I saw this before. I kind of thought the bug would be waiting right there. You know what, the timer did just go, so I'll just call it and then immediately pick up again. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Darksiders 3, when I try to get back to Wrath and put him in the ground where he belongs. Later.